Hello friends, welcome to the lecture 5 of Sequelize ORM course. I hope you are absolutely fine and safe and pretty excited to start with this lecture. So, uh, in our last lecture, what we studied is how to create a database connection and we were creating a connection to the MySQL server. Now it's time to learn the core essence of the Sequelize. The most important thing, the base of the Sequelize is this lecture. So what we are going to study today is how to create or I can say how to define a model in Sequelize. Now what is a model? Before I tell you we, uh, how to create a model, you should know what is a model. Model is basically an abstraction. Abstraction means we don't know how Sequelize is going to do but it is an abstraction for us. We will create a model and Sequelize will correspondingly create a table for that particular model in the database. So how that is going to happen? Let's see in this lecture. So this was our last lecture. I think we, we I can remove this. Now uh, I'm not going to remove this thing because definitely we need a, a database connection. So I ha I'm connected to uh, MySQL database. Database name is mytestdb and uh, username is root. Password is this and the connection is stored in this string. Okay in SQLize variable. Now coming to the next point. Next point is this. We need to learn how can we define a model. So this is very easy. There are two methods to define a model. In this lecture we will learn the first method and in the next lecture we will learn the second method. And uh, so mm, let's start. So the first one is so I am trying to define a model which name is user. So how I am going to do this? I have sequelize with me and sequelize provides me a method called define. In the define I can directly pass the name of the model Okay, so right now I am defining the name as user. So this is the first argument. The second argument is an object. Now this is very very simple. You have told the SQLize that okay I want to create a model. Okay, uh, in correspondingly you are telling that I want to create a table. Uh, okay, now you need to define the columns. How you will define the columns? Let's see. It's very easy. First of all, I want a ID that id should be the primary key primary key true if it's a primary key it should be auto increment definitely it should it's a, it should be an auto increment after that what will be the data type of this so data type will be Yeah, you can define directly as type. So type will be integer. So how can we define integer? Uh, you can see at line number one, SQLize is provided as a uh, object data types. Using this, you can define any data type. Data types dot integer. You might be wondering there are so many things to cram. There, there is nothing to cram. These are just the things that you will uh, get to know and these will be fit in your mind with the passage of time. Whenever you, you do these things again and again, then you don't need to cram anything. After ID, we have uh, what we say in a user. We can say it's an email ID. Okay. And the email ID, uh, its type will be data types dot its type will be string I can say and definitely unique will be true these things which I am using these are the parameters which I am passing this you will learn with the passage of time okay as told earlier also after email uh, what I can have I can have uh, uh, maybe the age so the age will be uh, yeah its type will be again data type dot integer one thing also you can set here is you can also set allow null false by default it's true by default it will allow you to enter no enter a null value but if you define allow null as false it will not allow you to do though do that so <laughs> that's how it is this was so easy that's how you can define a model so easily okay uh, so now how we will move forward is like now I have created this model in my JavaScript code. Now I need to sync this 
code or I can see my SQLize to the database. So uh, it provides me a very simple method. I just need to do SQLize dot SYNC sync. So what I'm expecting this is now after create uh, I am I am uh, assigning it like okay so you need to create a uh, model user model and after this I am syncing it with a database so I'm expecting that after this a table will be created in my database with these fields so let's try let me run this file you can see can you see like it as uh, equalize I, I I didn't ask equalize to do SQL query and create a table for me but do you see sequelize ran a query for me create table if not exist users the table name is users the ID integer not null auto increment email ID varkar 255 the default one not null unique age integer not null created at daytime and updated at yeah so let me go to the database and let's see uh, let uh, so earlier I queried it show sure tables it was empty now let's see if there are any tables or not so you can see there is table let me uh, see what it is in the users yeah so you can see the ID email and age these are the fields which I defined here and these are automatically created these the, the SQL queries ran by the SQLize automatically and now I have this table created in my database now you will be wondering how this created and updated it came is there any place I added this thing no there is no such place then how it came this is because SQLize default consider timestamps as true means even if you don't want to um, even if you don't specify if you if you, if you don't explicitly specify that I want created and updated it even then SQLize does this so okay there may be a case if you, um, when you you will say me that okay I don't want this thing I want to, I don't want these two fields okay SQLize provided the way for that also let me copy this So now I am creating a let me stay orient student now I have just changed the name nothing else I am changing okay just for the uh, just for the demo purpose student now there is a third argument in this define function where I can say timestamps is equal to false now again I am syncing it now let's see what happens Now as you can see the query is same but earlier it was trying to create created at and updated it also but now it is not doing the same. Let's see in the database also. So I am doing show tables. Now I have a table with name students. Now let me describe students also. Yes. As you can see there is no column name created and, and updated at. So I think uh, now you have understood the gist so these are the things like uh, like the arguments there are there are maybe more arguments these things as I told earlier you will learn as you will go along uh, after understanding all the basic concepts we will also be doing some projects in the projects we will understand these things more clearly and we will we will get a habit of these things okay so you don't need to be worried about it so uh, I think uh, now you have understood how to create a or I can say how to define a model in SQLize and how to sync that model uh, how to sync our SQLize to the database also so uh, this was about this lecture in the next lecture we will learn an alternate way to create a model so thanks all for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button thank you